433. Consider a battery with the overall reaction, which I wrote down here, is copper solid plus 2 Ag plus aqueous yields 2 Ag solid plus Cu2 plus aqueous. Now we have letter C. If a particular dead battery was found to have a copper 2 plus concentration of 0.11 molarity, what's the concentration of the silver ion? Okay, so since we're on letter C, there is a couple of things that I had to pull from uh, letter B to answer this problem. In letter B, they did discuss a dead battery. And just know that if you have a dead battery, that means that the cell potential, the E cell, is zero. Zero volts, that is. Now, with that zero volts, we had to find out what the reaction quotient was, the Q value. And it turns out that we calculated it to be 3.6 times 10 to the 15th. Now, from that information, they're now telling us that we have a Cu2+, plus, which is this over here, of 0.11 molarity. And the question is, what is the concentration of the silver ion? The ion is always the charged um, element here. So we're searching for the molarity or the concentration of Ag+. Plus. So we have the Q value, that's the reaction quotient, very similar to equilibrium constants. And remember, a Q value has the same formula as a K in which it's just products divided by reactants raised to their coefficients. So in this case, if I just say Q equals, I'm not going to care about the solid because no solids allowed. So it's goodbye solid, goodbye solid. These two are aqueous, so they're allowed in my Q expression. So in this case, maybe I'll do that in, in black. We have the two, uh, one reactant and one product. It's always products over reactants. So it's Cu2 plus divided by Ag plus. And since there was a two in front of the Ag, I have to take my Ag and square it. Since there was only one copper, you could raise it to the first, but you don't have to. So the Q value is 3.6 times 10 to the 15th. They told us that that copper was 0.11 molarity and we're just solving for Ag plus, which is X. So let's go for it. 3.6 times 10 to the 15th equals, we have 0.11 divided by X squared. All right, well, we could just easily cross multiply here just to get the X value out of the denominator. Beautiful, and then this one just stays put, right? So we have 3.6 times 10 to the 15th equals, oh, just kidding, hold on. 3.6 times 10 to the 15th times X squared equals 0 0.11. Let's divide on both sides to get X squared by itself divided by 3.6 times 10 to the 15th, times 10 to the 15th, these goes bye-bye. So we're just at x squared equals 0.11 divided by 3.6 times 10 to the, that second, that second uh, comma button, the EE -E button is times 10 to the, so I don't even have to write that, I just say 15, and that's good for the calculator. So this is gonna be 3.0555, it looks like repeating, all the way up until, you know, to the sixth times 10, or maybe I'll just, you know, I'll just round it, right? Times 10 to the negative 17th. And now we just wanna solve for x, so square the information, right? Square and the square root cancel out. And now we have x equals square root of this number. And there you go. I guess we'll do two sig figs. So 5.5. 5.5 times 10 to the negative ninth, and that's in molarity. And it makes sense because if this Q value is so large, it's times 10 to the 15th, that means that you're way over on your product side. So this copper molarity should be way larger than the AG uh, solution who is on the left side. So the answer checks out.
I hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Um, yeah, keep studying hard. And I'll be with you guys every step of the way. So let's keep studying hard. Let's crush those exams. And crush the subscribe button if you wouldn't mind. Thank you for that. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.